Learning to Love Art The Annunciation in Art Artists of the Christian faith have created a large volume of work over the course of many centuries. Since the earliest days of the faith, artists have represented important events in the life of Christ and in the history of the people of Israel. One subject that has been featured repeatedly in biblical art is the Annunciation, when the Virgin Mary was visited by the angel Gabriel, who told her she was to bear the Christ child. Let's take a look at the different ways artists throughout history have depicted this subject. One early example of a representation of this scene can be traced back to the 14th century Byzantine Empire. This example was an icon which would have been worshipped by followers of the Eastern Orthodox Christian faith. We can easily make out which characters are which, Gabriel with his wings and flowing robes, and Mary with her halo, signifying the holy status that Orthodox Christians believe she possessed. We can see that the artist has striven to treat the subject with the respect due to the sacred. For example, the faces of both characters express seriousness and dignity. Such an expression would be common for the faces of biblical figures in Byzantine icons, expressing their moral authority. One other feature of this icon that exudes holiness is the golden background. If you have seen my lesson where I talked about St. George slaying the dragon by Carlo Crivelli, you will remember that the artist made the background gold to honor the saintly nature of St. George. We can see something similar in this icon. The background is golden here to honor the miraculous conception of Christ the Savior, as well as to distinguish the icon as a holy object. You can see this image in Orid, North Macedonia. Another depiction of the Annunciation that is notable for its easily readable visual imagery is L'Annonciation by Philippe de Champagne, which was made in the 1640s. The story is very easy to follow here. We can tell which figure is the angel Gabriel due to his glowing form, wings, and flowing robes. One key feature here is that the angel carries a bunch of lilies in his hand. Such flowers are common features of depictions of this physical scene, alluding to the purity of the burden Mary when she was visited. Within his sphere of light, we can see a dove. This dove is meant to represent the presence of the Holy Spirit. Behind them, we can see a quaint village on a riverside. It is also easy to see which figure is meant to be Mary. She looks surprised and pleased as the angel appears before her, humbly pointing to herself. She wears a red dress and a blue robe, the traditional colors of the Virgin Mary. Another traditional element of the artist's representation of Mary here is the book she has propped under her elbow. This is common in paintings of the Annunciation as it suggests to the viewer that Mary is a woman of learning. Also notable is the halo around Mary's head, which is similar to the one in the icon we saw previously. The halo distinguishes Mary as a holy figure as well. You can see this painting at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City. Henry Osawa Tanner's depiction of the Annunciation, which was made in 1898, contains far fewer traditional symbols than that of Philippe de Champagne. Instead, Tanner's painting is realistic and not idealized. For instance, instead of taking place in a room near a riverside village like Philippe de Champagne's painting, or employing a mystical golden background like the icon, Tanner's painting takes place in a simple room that contains woolen rugs, wall hangings, and disheveled bed coverings. We can see chips in the walls and cracks in the tiles on the floor. Instead of having distinguishable physical features like the angel in the other paintings, the angel in this representation appears in the form of a bright beam of light, indicating that he comes from another world. Instead of appearing surprised and pleased like Philippe de Champagne's Mary, this Mary clasps her hands in a gesture of prayer and displays an expression of fright. Mary does not have a halo here. She wears simple robes and appears to have suddenly been awakened from her bed. Furthermore, the artist based her off a real model from Palestine, resulting in a Mary who looks as she might have appeared in real life. 
You can see the Annunciation by Henry Osawa Tanner at the Philadelphia Museum of Art. I hope that this lesson has given you an idea of the different ways that Christian artists have depicted the appearance of the angel Gabriel to the Virgin Mary throughout history. Although the Bible gives an account of the miraculous conception of Christ, artists have imagined the details in a variety of different ways depending on the cultures in which they lived. Read about the Annunciation in the Bible and think about how you think it might have looked.